Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all well. And if you are new, hey, my name is Laura. I'm gonna be taking you through all of the bits which are new in, in my wardrobe, which I've been picking up for autumn. I'm so excited, I love this time of year. I love when it just starts to get a little bit crisp in the morning, it certainly was this morning. And we start to get out jackets and coats. As I talked about previously in another video, at this stage of the season, I spend a little bit more on the more investment pieces, the pieces that I know that I really want in the, for the whole span of this season. And so think more high-end high street. So these are gonna be pieces from Whistles and Other Stories, Mint Velvet, and also a brand which I have discovered recently, which I'm gonna chat more about, called Petite Studio. I'm gonna try everything on. So you will see it full length and kind of how I pair it with boots and that kind of thing. I'll talk about fit, size, all of that stuff and let's just get straight on into the first piece. So many of you may already know my obsession with this dress. I picked it up a few weeks ago in London and I just love it. I absolutely love it. It is a maxi dress. It drops beautifully. It just feels lovely on. It flows with the wind. It's these gorgeous autumnal colours. It's got really pretty little flowers all the way over it. It's just, it's made really beautifully. It's got sheer sleeves, which if you can see the pattern does actually have a little bit of a stripe going through it. And this one is from Jigsaw and I got it in a size eight. I definitely would recommend going down in size. I tried on the size 10 and it definitely didn't fit. I think I probably could have even gone down again, but I just wanted to make sure that I had room, especially if I was wearing it with say a leather jacket and I wanted to easily be able to move my arms. And I also tend to pair, or I have been pairing it with uh, my own belt rather than this tie that they have on it, which I think is really nice. It just adds something to the outfit. And it's that perfect piece that you can wear to so many occasions. I've worn it with trainers and just a denim jacket when it's been a little bit warmer, quite casually. You can wear it to lunch, you could wear it to a meeting, dress it up with a heeled pair of boots for an evening. So, so versatile and a piece that I know that I will be wearing time and time again. Next up is this gorgeous deep tan blazer. This is from Petite Studio and if you're not familiar with them, they are a New York based brand and they recently got in touch with me asking if I'd like to collaborate and I had a quick look at their stuff and I just fell so in love with them and their brand and the principle. So as it suggests by the name, it is a petite range for ladies. Now I'm five foot six, so although I wouldn't class myself necessarily as petite, I often find, especially with a lot of items nowadays, they're quite on the masculine side, and I don't find that they quite fit my body perfectly. What I love about the brand is that you actually take measurements, so you can measure your bust and your waist and see which size fits you correctly. If you're based in New York, then they have the most Pinterest worthy retail store, which you could go and try them on in. But if you're not, they are actually doing free international shipping, which I believe runs from the 27th of September to the 4th of October. So you could definitely try out a few of their pieces. I fell so in love with this one. I just thought it was so sleek because of the color and the gorgeous tan leather details, which is just here on the collar and also on the pocket. And if you watch my trend video, you'll know that I talked about jackets with, which had a belt going around the middle of them. And I really wanted to find one this season. And here it is. And this one has a gorgeous little belt which ties around the middle, kind of cinches you in. It is so, so flattering on. And because that belt isn't actually attached, it makes it a really versatile piece because you can style it up in a lot of different ways. Wear it open right now when it's a bit cooler, but close it off maybe when it starts getting a little bit cooler. And to go with the blazer, I actually picked up the matching bottoms, which obviously you can wear separately, but I just think it looks so chic when they are put together. Now these are quite a tailored pair, and again, they have all of the lovely detail over them. So they've got the leather down the bottom with these, you know I love, a tortoiseshell button. They've got the tortoiseshell buttons, such a sweet detail on the leg. And they're also really pretty around the back here. They've just really thought about all of the detail and how they're gonna look on. In both the pantsuit items, I picked up a size small, which was perfect for my measurements. So I got the tape measure out and made sure that they would fit correctly. The trousers definitely are a little bit cropped on me, but that's how I like them. 
pull it together the outfit I chose this shirt blouse and I love that under the blazer it actually just looks quite plain it's got a few of these stripes running through it but then as you really look into it it is really fun it's got little eyes over it it's kind of like that line drawing which is really trendy at the moment and they've got gorgeous pocket details here where they've just made it a little bit more detailed just really shows the craftsmanship that has gone into the pieces. This one again is in a size small. It's got that kind of oversized fit to it, but it fits really nicely in the arms where it kind of pulls in. And for me, it's that perfect length in the body so that I can tuck it in, but I'm not left with too much material, which is getting kind of trapped in my trousers. When I got out all of my autumn clothes and put them back into the wardrobe for this season, I felt like there were a few things missing. And each year I tried to think about the things that are missing. And a jumper dress was one of them. So I had my eye out and I saw this one in And Other Stories. Firstly, I just found the colour. I love this plum. And I just loved how simple it was. I actually have a few And Other Stories jumpers which are in this same kind of style. So I felt like I would also like the jumper dress. It is quite long in length. It's a midi style dress. But it does have a slip. It has a slip to one of the sides which I think is quite nice and flattering. I really liked that the arms weren't too billowing because I knew I could wear this one right through the season when it gets a lot colder I can easily put it underneath a coat because when you get those billowing arms it does make it harder. I could even put some thermal wear underneath it, some long boots so I knew that this one would get a lot of wear. It does have a belt which comes with it, it's a fabric belt which ties around the waist. I found that it was a lot more flattering and just that little bit more stylish to put my own belt under it but the fit is really gorgeous. It's kind of fitted but not too tight and not too clingy and I picked this one up in a size small. I thought I'd stick with jumper dresses for a little while since I'm on a little run. Um, so I also picked up this one from Whistles which I think is quite a different style. It's much more of that relaxed slouchy style. It's definitely oversized as you can see from how wide it is here. It is the same kind of length. Again it's um, midi length but I love that style length. The colour is so versatile, being camel, and this one was a little bit different because it had this lovely neck to it, which I felt really elevated it as a jump dress. Again, I'm going to be pulling this one in with a belt, and I just thought that it looked so chic and elegant as one full outfit, but also having that relaxed, easy style. This one again is in a size small. I feel like most people are changing their sizes to be small or medium, but if they have any other sizing, I will put that below. This next piece has a stunning movement to it, especially in the skirt. It flicks and flows so perfectly. This is a sweet mini dress. It comes perfectly to me just above the knee, which makes it the exact perfect size for over the knee boots, which I love wearing at this time of the year. The great thing with this dress as well is that at the moment it still is here in the UK, it's still about 20 degrees on some days. So you can wear this one right now without any boots but then you can pair it up and layer it on later in the season. This one I picked up in a size small and it knits me in perfectly at the waist. It has sweet little buttons, concealed buttons going down and it's got a really nice V that isn't too high and it isn't too low. Uh, it's just a really nice length and the long sleeves to it. It is the kind of item that you could get away with wearing, again, on kind of multiple occasions. You could definitely wear this piece to work if you make it a little bit more formal, but as well you can wear it on a weekend uh, when the weather is a little bit warmer, pair it with a pair of trainers. So it has that versatility factor. So I have a little navy jacket that I wear all of the time and I always get you guys asking where it's from and unfortunately it is a few seasons old but I just still love it and I still wear it time and time again so again I was on a little lookout for one this season and I found this one which was a little bit different from mint velvet. Now it's a bit different because it is actually in cardigan material which I'm a big fan of because of comfort. It, it, it does, it just feels so lovely on. You're not gonna get that restricted jacket feeling. And at the same time, because it is a cardigan jacket, it's gonna be so easy to wear over coats when it gets a little bit colder. The style is really cool. It's kind of biker-like. So they've got this zip going up on an angle to the side and then this lovely detail around the neck. 
It's all in this ribbed jumper material, if you can see slightly there. And then on the arms, they've also got these patches, which again, makes it look a little bit more biker style. This for me is one of those basic items that I just know I'm gonna want to gravitate to it and wear it nearly every day. It doesn't take much thought to put it on. You can put it over dresses, you can put it over a t-shirt, you can put it over a shirt, you can layer it. It just is so, so easy. And because I know that I had one very similar in my wardrobe, I just know that I'm gonna get the wear out of this one. And I picked this one up in a size eight um, and that fits perfectly for me. This little mini skirt is very new in for me, so much so that I actually still have the tag on it and can't remember what size I got it in. Got it in a size eight, uh, which when I tried it on, it was a little bit small. I feel like I probably could go up a size. And I'm just trying to decide whether I love the navy color on it. I mean, I do love the navy color on it. I just want to make sure that I will get the wear out of it. I like that it has the tortoiseshell button it detail to the top here because it kind of indicates that you could easily pair it with brown and brown boots but if I'm honest I do tend to go with black a lot in the winter time so I'm wondering how much wear I will get out of it it's so soft it's a really lovely cord material to it if you can see and it just it looks really luxe almost velvety has pockets to the side I mean, it's a lovely mini skirt. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, but I just wonder if I might prefer it in another color. So I'm gonna decide on that. Let me know below if you think another color might be best in this one. An absolute basic for me all year round is a midi skirt, but just look at the draping on this one. It's 100% silk and my gosh, the quality is just stunning. The flow is sensational. Uh, it's in this gorgeous plum colour and I love the side detail and the slit that goes up just here. It's a piece that I feel like will be in my wardrobe forever but I love as well that it's quite versatile and you can wear it more relaxed. I tend to find that I gravitate towards these items a little bit more so on the dressed up side even if I am wearing it in the day, but this is that perfect piece. You can wear it in the day and then wear it straight on into the night. And this one I picked up in a size small. It is a fitted item around the whip kind of waist area. So just bear that in mind if you are ordering. If you don't like it to be fitted on your waist, then it may be, and it would be better to go up a size in this one. But the style of it is that it kind of fits and then it flares out. You really can't go wrong with and other story knits. They're such good quality. They feel really nice. They wash really nicely. This one is a little bit different in color. It is definitely a little bit more on the mustard side of camel. It has a really nice high neck to it. It's just that little bit cropped in the body. Again, perfect for wearing with high waisted items. It's not gonna be that kind of piece that kind of drapes over your bum if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for, but I'm always tucking my pieces in and always finding like they're too chunky. So I'm really loving that so many people are bringing out, um, I mean, I say cropped because they're not at all cropped. They fit me well below my jean waistline, but they're just not super baggy in length. So you don't have a lot to tuck in. It has a nice oversized arms to it and it's just so soft and snuggly. I picked it up in a size small and I just know that it's gonna be that easy basic that I grab all the time. This is another quite new in piece for me. I fell in love with it because of its colorway. I really saw me wearing it with a lot of light colors underneath, some light jeans, a light t-shirt. This one I got in a size 10, which in a lot of the And Other Stories stores, they're European sizes, so that would be a size 36. And it is definitely that oversized blazer feel, but it's on the blazer coat side of things. It's in a really thick wool material. It's gonna be quite warm and it's definitely got a chunkier feel than like the one that I've got on is quite lightweight and much more of a layering piece. Whereas this for me, until I get into the real depths of winter and I wanna be wearing a big coat over this one too, this, this will last me just on its own for quite a while. These are the trousers that I said would go perfectly with this knit here. As you can see, they do match perfectly. They look really nice and put together when you wear them as a pair. And these trousers are just really lovely. They've got a lovely feel to them, a lovely flow to them. They're very sleek and simple. I did size up in these and go for a size 10 because they do nip you in quite a bit at the waist. They've got quite a thick waistline, which I always find quite flattering, but I do tend to size up in them. And then they've got really wide, gorgeous bottoms to them, which just look so chic. 
another blazer can you tell how much i'm loving blazers at the moment but this one is a little bit different again it is to me a lot more eveningy it's in a much more of a silky material uh, it's very smooth kind of like swishy which i really like and it's in this it's navy uh, backing but it's got a burgundy dot over it which is quite a like demure print it's not too out there which I love because it's just that item which I know is on trend but I will have it in my wardrobe for years again it pulls in in the middle which is a huge trend for this autumn winter but I think it will just be a staple for years to come it's semi long in the body and I got this one in a size 8 but what I would say is that it's a little bit snug so I would size up in it and it's got that lovely tailored feeling to it with just the gorgeous detail in the sleeves with a little dart um, and also on the back. I'm looking forward to wearing this one in the evenings and it also comes, I didn't pick up the trousers and I'm pretty sure I'm going to, but it comes with a matching pair of trousers and I always find when uh, shops bring out items which pair, it's best to pick them up at the same time because you're gonna regret it when you don't pick it up. <laughs> and then it either goes out of stock or it's not in your size or that kind of thing. So I probably will be getting the matching set for this one. I fell for this coat because of the color. I really like that it wasn't that too pastely blue, almost like washed out blue, but it also wasn't too deep. It's perfect for wearing in this transitional weather. And it's this oversized, almost slouchy trench coat. It's got some really lovely design pieces to it. This really nice big belt at the back which just kind of drapes makes it look really chic but effortless and around to the front here it has these little pull-ins which I, I actually haven't seen on an item of clothing before that just does a little section which is so flattering on the body if you can see it just pulls you in a little bit at the waist so you get to have the best of both worlds where it's that like oversized effortless look but at the same time it's not totally just making you look like you've been absolutely swimming in a coat as you'll have seen from my last H&M video where I tried on a coat and it just yeah it just wasn't good on me at all this one also has really big beautiful pockets to it the lining is so soft and easy and you can adjust the sleeves here so that you can pull them in a little bit size wise if you want to gorgeous buttons and a piece that you can fling on over so many things and I couldn't not mention another dress. You guys know how much I love dresses. This one is really, really pretty. It's in the softest material. It feels really gorgeously soft. And it actually is, uh, which I'm not sure you'll be able to see. You might be able to see better when I try it on, but it is totally lined, which means that it's not see-through. I love that about dresses when I try them on, then you're having to think about slips and bits like that. It's not, but it's also got this sheerness just a little bit to it on the arms where it's not lined. But I think some of the nicest details on this one are the arms, so how they gather in here. So you've not got flippy floppy arms which are getting in the way and it also nips you in really nicely around the waist. It's just so flattering on the figure, especially if you're curvy, but at the same time, it does definitely elevate curves slightly, especially around the bust area with all of this gathered in material. It's got two sweet buttons going to it and it is uh, midi length. You know I love midi legs with a beautiful square neck to it. I have a few items with this square neck, a few tops. I always get a compliment when I wear them, so there must be something in that. <laughs> and last but not least, I jumped the gun a little bit and got my first winter piece, which is this coat. I'm actually struggling to hold it up a little bit because it is so heavy but in a good way it's just got that lovely quality feel to it so in this black and white um tweed and it has lovely black buttons which run down at both the sleeve and also a lovely big two big ones in the middle it has big pockets which you can just throw your hands into and this is the kind of thing that i will start wearing so i'm gonna have to take it down start wearing just kind of flung over my shoulders as it gets a little bit colder but then obviously start layering it up Again, it is slightly oversized, but I love that look. It's got the big collar. It just looks so warm and it's beautifully, beautifully lined inside. Whew, and I'm nearly out of breath from showing this one, but I picked that one up in a size 10. And they are the items which I have new in in my wardrobe at the moment. If you liked it, do go ahead and give it a like. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe because I have loads more awesome content coming in the next few weeks. Everything will be linked down in the description, but if you have any questions on 
fit or size, then just leave me a comment and I will reply back in the comment section down below. And do make sure to check out Petite Studio. I think that you guys are gonna love their pieces. Don't forget that they have free shipping from the 27th of September to the 4th of October. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.